Okay, guys. So I transferred coin to uh, a wallet address, like a BNB to a wallet address, and it never reflected. It took, let's say, two hours. The coins never reflected. Three hours never reflected. Why on the other wallet it has shown sent? So um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I managed to recover the uh, glory be to God. I did I did re recover the coin. So I'm going to show you every details of what it took me to recover the coin, you know, and the mistake I made and what you should avoid yourself so that doesn't occur to you as in that doesn't happen to you. You know, this um, crypto revolution is really shocking a lot of person and most times some of us will believe that we already know too much about it. Meanwhile, we don't know nothing about it and when we try to transact, you know, we end up making a lot of mistakes. And even those of us that tries to know at least something or one or two about it, as update comes uh, bit by bit, you know, things begins to change. A lot of things changes and we make a lot of mistakes. We do something different and some of those things can really makes us uh, lose money you know most crypto traders lose money a lot of crypto traders lose this money every single day so one just has to be careful because one thing about cryptocurrency kind of stuff is when you lose your money you have lost that money uh, you don't have customer care to recover that money for you you don't unless there is just a way okay unless there's just a way but once you have lost you have lost you know there's no way you can recover it so i'm going to show you how i managed to recover the coins that i mistakenly sent i not that i mistake i sent a wallet my wallet address you know i was transferring it in between two wallets from one wallet to another and it was actually the right wallet address but something was wrong something was wrong i'm going to tell you what was wrong and how i was able to recover so in case this happened to you you know you can find this video detailed enough to guide you you know from uh, making sort of mistake and if you have made a mistake already this video should be detailed enough to help you recover your coins so the next thing you're going to see is we are going to we're going to dive right into my uh, phone because actually uh i did everything with my phone funny enough i didn't use laptop like you know the recovery process you know i just use my phone to do everything so if you are using mobile you don't have laptop you don't have a problem you can actually do all these things from the comfort of your mobile phone all right so let's see the video all right guys so this is what happened and uh, this is what i did exactly um the phone that was transferred was transferred from the trust wallet to my metamax wallet all right and I didn't know that the what Metamax wallet was on uh, on what they call it on the Ethereum network. Now, this is this is what it, this is what it means. Like the different wallets are on different network. We have a, a Binance Smart Chain network, which Trust Wallet is on, and then we have Metamax is on Ethereum network, which it does it doesn't mean you can you cannot add other network you can add other networks, and then. But again, we have a Tron network, and um, you know there are a whole list of them. So okay, you can see this is this is the Ethereum net. This is the Ethereum. Okay, this is the network. The the MetaMask account here. You can see what I just did here. I I I've, I've done some other transaction here. All right, that's why you're seeing that balance here. So I transfer BNB. So it never reflected here. Like nothing showed. Like there was nothing here, it didn't show anything like there's a BNB or maybe something was transferred. So if you go to this, uh, the settings, uh, and you go to network, okay, all the network I just mentioned, now you can see some other networks here. Uh, you can see here we have a uh, Rockstein test and then Rovan test and all this other stuff. I think there are test networks, so you can see that it is boldly on a Ethereum network. Okay, yeah, it is boldly on a Ethereum network. So what I have to do is I have to do was I discovered that Trust Wallet, the Trust my Trust Wallet wasn't on uh, MetaMask, uh, uh, what do they call it, Smart Chain uh, network. So the there's not how the Ethereum would have reflected here. All right. So the Ethereum didn't reflect here because uh, this account was 
us and the Terra network. So what I have to do, which I I just have to go to setting, which took me a lot of time. So because I've done this before, so it should be simple recording it right here. So um, actually, I've deactivated the network so that um, so when I add it up, you will see the balance will reflect it, a different balance will reflect which is on that network all right so what i had to do was i had to go to uh settings and then uh click on network and then add new network all right so here we have a new network to add so now what we have to do now is we have to go and search for a smart chain network all right so i have to you have to go to google which are uh, I can't remember the link exactly, but I'm going to provide it here. Let me see. Smart chain. Smart chain wallet Metamax. Okay. I think something like this. Smart chain. All right, let's click here and check it out. So, uh, to scroll down, all right. No, nope, we're not looking for testnet. We are looking for MetaMax network, all right. Configuring the wallet, okay. All right, all right. So this is what we are looking for. Mainnet. This is one you probably are looking for, all right. So this is exactly what we are looking for. We are looking for metamask smart chain all right mainnet so now uh the name of the network here the name of the network is smart chain all right i'm going to write that then the next thing here is network new rpc url uh, so this i'm going to copy this all right so i'm going to tap on it and then copy it then go back to metamask first of all i need to you know each time you log out of this wallet you have to log back in so all right so i'm gonna write the name of the network here smart <coughs> smart chain all right so mind you you can give it any name but let's leave it that smart chain all right so i'm going to paste that rpc here and then come back and the chain the chain id is 56 and then the symbol is bnb i could decide to give it any symbol i want but let's leave it the let's give the way it is so that you won't get confused so I'm going to copy this one that looks complicated that's the block explorer url so come back here remember 56 and bnb all right so the smart chain is uh, 56 and then the symbol is uh, bnb and then i'm going to paste the url here all right so i've done i haven't done that so i'm just going to add the network so click on add all right so you can see I just added the network now. You can see, you can see now that this the B, BNB has reflected here, but there was going to be there. This wasn't there before. So the next thing here is uh, one more thing. After doing this, guys, after doing this, uh, you can see BNB receives sent. All right, BNB has reflected, but there are some. Uh, okay, you see the Ethereum is here. So in the scenario, there was this, this scenario. Actually, the Ethereum was was in here. All right, it was like this. After adding it, the Ethereum was still not reflected. All right, it was still not reflected. So what I have to do is, what I have to do is, you click on Add Token. That if this happens to you and you send everything in, and maybe you've done this and you've added the network, you've added the network to MetaMask. All right but you can't still find your coin so what you have to do which is what i had to do was to click on add token and now what you're adding is ethereum ethereum so in most cases you wouldn't find it all right so what you have to do is um go okay so i'm, I'm gonna have to save this link for you guys so what you have to do is uh, go and copy the contract id uh, uh, you can type in ethereum 
contract or uh, uh, the best way just go to search again so um guys i have to go through my trust wallet to look up this all right so when you send uh, a a binar a, a smart chain ethereum to trust wallet it's it, it goes in as an ethereum peg okay because you're using the ep20 network so now i have to look up for this uh, binance spec ethereum you know contract id and that's what we're going to copy and paste there so okay so what we're looking for is binance spec ethereum all right so i'm going to have to exit, exit here all right oh this stuff is off ethereum Ethereum contract contract address. All right. So here we are. Okay, like I told you before, you can go through BS6 scan. All right. So here we are. So this is the best place you can find it, and not on Coin Market. All right. So uh, if you scroll down, scroll down, you see the contract ID here because that's what you're saying. So when you come back here, just come back to your cross uh, your MetaMask. Of course, I still have to use fingerprint to open it. All right, this is uh, so copy here. Let me highlight this, the date call, and let me just paste it. Now it's supposed to just come up. Okay, now since it is not appearing in this search. All right, so we're gonna have to add add it as a custom token. So, can you see? All right. So maybe if you try searching it in the search and it's not coming up, then it means you have to add it as a custom token. So you see, once I just pasted that, the symbol immediately came back, came up. The Ethereum symbol came up, and the token. Precision ID came up, which means that it's a valid token. And you know, most times you just have to add that by yourself using ETA, you write ETA, you write uh, the, the, the precision and whatever token precision. But this one just came up on this one. That's to tell you that you did copy the right thing. All right, so I'm just gonna have to add it. All right, so now you can see it's added up. Uh, you can see it down here. All right, so whatever that you sent. Uh, to this address whatever you send to this wallet whatever amount will definitely appear here like you can see in the video that I'm showing you like that I'm displaying here so now uh, you can see it here okay you can see I this is this, this was the amount I actually sent all right this was the amount I actually sent all right you can see it here so uh, what I have to do is have haven't gotten this note that your balance here will still be showing zero your balance here will still be showing zero now that's because you are on smart chain wallet and this is ethereum on smart chain wallet and on smart chain wallet you use bnb to send a coin okay to make to send coin out or send coin in all right so what should be reflecting there is BNB, so your balance will still be reflecting zero, um, zero dollar. So what you have to do to send this Ethereum, that if you want to send this Ethereum out of this wallet and convert it and do the writing, what you have to do now is you have to send some BNB uh, to this, at least 0 0.5 BNB to this uh, to this BNB network. All right, you can you can just add right click, copy the address from here. All right, you can already copy the address from here or go through here and copy it. All right, so you can send you cannot send 0 0.5 BNB or at least one BNB. Okay, um, one dollar BNB or 0 0.5 dollar BNB. All right, what a BNB. So, uh, when you send it in, then you have enough enough uh, uh, transport fee to transport it Ethereum. Else, you can you can't withdraw the Ethereum. You can't transfer this ethereum from this wallet so having done that then you can successfully uh, withdraw your lost ethereum so that's exactly what i do uh, what i did and 
I was able to recover my Ethereum. Like you can see that I've, I sent it and sent everything out, out of the wallet. So, so that's exactly what I do. So if you, if you actually did send an, uh, an Ethereum to a uh, wrong wallet, so that's how you can recover it. And one thing is you have to be in control of both wallets. That's, that's just one of the issues that is there. So, and uh, in most people that are using, the, you have to, whenever, next time when you send, um, coins to or token to any network you just have to be sure of the particular network is operating on you know the person at the other end have to make sure that it's operating on the right network before they request you to send um, token to them and if you are using all these um, private wallets that that you have to register with an email and and does not have like a place where you you can add a new network it can prove a bit difficult so in that kind of situation you have to uh, contact the customer care of that private wallet all right but this year uh, this year so um this is the phone right here and um this is after recovering it on my account and i'm trying to transfer it the ethereum to binance so i have to copy binance address and then paste there i haven't transferred and some one or two dollar worth of BNB into the wallet. So I tried entry the entire amount, which was, uh, you can see there, but it was insufficient to go through. So I had to reduce it a bit, okay, to this level, which was good to go, and uh, you can see. So if I, it has gotten to this point, they say with you or any anyone doing this, then you are good to go, and then at this point here I enter sent and boom it went all right this was the most exciting thing to, to see when uh, you didn't imagine that you're ever gonna get back the phone and you see this happen you know you're able to send this amount so what I just kept doing here is just kept adding the fees just to uh, speed up the transaction and then you can see it's the amount of BNB taken there you can see it's literally nothing all right, so I had to go to my Binance. Remember, or I copied the address I copied on Binance was BSBC. All right, so I had to go back to my Binance to keep refreshing and refreshing and to see it reflect. All right, so as you all know by now, uh, any crypto transaction take a little while to reflect as a different network has to confirm. So uh, the best way I had to go uh, three days old that I've just click uh, on the history there so that's me trying to refresh uh, I mean refresh my my Binance account to see if the phones will reflect so uh, it went on and on and on and on and on so I had to go through the transaction okay you can see it through the transaction that they act there is a, a transaction coming in which has already started showing one confirmation so which means that the transfer was successful actually it was successful so in a short while if you see me refresh my binance account you see that the transaction was actually confirmed so if you are going through this uh, process you can see seven confirmation by now the funds have reflected in my binance account so if you are go ever go through this kind of uh hazard or ever had this have this kind of experience I believe this video should be a guide enough for you to you know be able to recover your funds back to your Binance account all right so this kind of wallet that doesn't have customer care here you, you just you just have to help yourself out so uh, thank you for watching my video and be sure that you subscribe to my channel if you are not just subscribed by now please do subscribe to my channel if you love my video subscribe and like this video um, share this video i have more amazing content like this that will help you in, in your cryptocurrency world coming up so be sure that you are tuned in so see you in my next video